Well, well, well. The Chargers somehow chargered in ways that the Chargers haven't even fathomed. This is legendary incompetence on full display. A 27-point lead. Five turnovers against an overmatched opponent in the first half. All the momentum in the world to suffer a painful defeat to Kansas City and Arrowhead next week. Yet you chose a different outcome. You chose failure. Hilarious, surprisingly predictable failure. I don't know how you did it, but this is a collapse so awful that I consider moving the team again out of shame. This is a choke for the ages. Something that was quite predictable in the grand scheme of things. If you've been paying any attention to this team, this is very on brand for the inferior LA franchise. One that tries so hard to be part of the popular clique, yet is only mocked by them behind their back. You live a lie. You've been living one since you moved to this city that doesn't give a flying fuck about you. You pretend to believe that you're being accepted, but it's mere delusion. No one cares for you. There was only laughter at your expense. And it shows in who you have leading the way. Brandon Staley is a fucking hack. And I've been screaming it for months. He's been escaping his own idiocy all season. Going for it on fourth down at his own 45, leading by two with time winding down? Escaped. Not using any of his goddamn timeouts in a two minute drill? Escaped. Trying to out Falcon the Falcons? Escaped. Playing all of his starters for 55 minutes when there was absolutely nothing to play for in week 18? It seemed like he escaped it. But the gods have a sense of humor all their own. Do you know who could have helped you in the second half? Mike Williams. You know, the guy you got injured thanks to stubbornness. Oh, but rest is so important throughout the week, am I right? Defensive guru. Having consistently terrible defenses is the mark of a defensive expert. Going into a soft shell cocoon like every other defensive coordinator is a good thing. How much was this guy carried by Aaron Donald? With your faux analytics and your sheer lack of anything resembling football savvy, your so-called skills are laid bare for all of us to witness. Gnarly bones and hardened skin. Barren. A magnum opus of suck. Seven yards of rushing on set rushing plays in the second half. Seven. They got 13 rushing yards on a Justin Herbert QB sneak. That's criminal malpractice. Somewhere in the clouds above us, Alex Spanos pisses on the grave of this team. Knowing that his useless son ruined everything he built. Dead serious when I say this team. Contract the franchise. There's no coming back from this. You've moved to the so-called greener pastures to build a castle of failure and humiliation. You've betrayed everything the Chargers have stood for to make them the Clippers of the NFL. Is it worth it to watch the stadium you rent out be invaded by opposing fans every home game? You deserve every single shred of this shit. Even as your opposition and the refs do everything in their power to hand you an undeserved win, justice is swift. Who knows, maybe you can make an overproduced social media video about it like you always do. It's par for the course for this godforsaken franchise. Born into pain. Know nothing in life besides pain. Will wither and die in pain. Fuck you, Spanos. Fuck you forevermore. Here, please hit me as hard as you can. You blew it! Don't hold back.